the number seven tight end of all time, Jason Witten. Someone you might not want to talk nice about, but is on our list, Jason Witten. Why, because I'm from Philadelphia? Yeah. You're going to think I don't like Jason Witten because I'm from Philadelphia? Uh, unfortunately, he's too good. <laughs> he is too good. Jason Witten's probably a guy that can play in both eras. He's athletic for this era, but he's big and strong for another area. Banging through the traffic like a runaway truck. Jason Witten is just the man. <laughs> And then Jason Witten went all Jason Witten. I love Jason Witten. Receiver. Touchdown, Jason Witten. Blocker. Just such an underrated, quiet guy that no one talks about, but absolutely one of the best tight ends of all time. Hall of Famer in my book. Jason Witten is definitely one of the top ten tight ends of all time because this is a guy that uh, the numbers are off the charts. Witten, 1,000th reception of his brilliant NFL career. But the other thing that Jason Witten did was he blocked. I mean, the Cowboys had some good running teams. Jason Witten gets a great seal block, and Witten was involved in the blocking. Witten's doing a tremendous blocking job tonight. He can catch, he can block. A lot of people probably don't appreciate his completeness as a tight end. Not everyone agreed with Jason Witten's ranking as the seventh best tight end of all time. Jason Witten at number seven. All time. Jason Witten is the number seven tight end all time? Well, that's crazy. There's got to be other tight ends that had bigger moments and bigger games than Jason Witten. You don't think of Jason Witten as being a game breaker like Gronkowski or Dave Casper or Antonio Gates. To me, when you're talking about some of the guys you guys have ranked behind him, they were much more frightening to game plan for than Jason Witten. While his selection wasn't unanimous, Witten's career was too impressive to leave off our list, ranking second all-time among tight ends in both receiving yards and receptions. He doesn't get a lot of the accolades as a Rob Gronkowski or a Jimmy Graham. But year in, year out, Witten's putting up good numbers. He's a Hall of Famer. You think he's a great player, don't you? You don't even know how great this guy is. Witten, that guy is a beast. Jason Witten had a collision with Clint Michael. His helmet popped off, but he kept moving downfield. Witten is one of those guys, since he's on the Cowboys, that the way I know he's good is that I've said the F word before his name countless times while watching the game.